Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends. And don't forget uh, to, uh, you know, uh, to invite Muslims. And let us please use a good language. Otherwise, we are going to ban anyone who uses a bad language. Uh, Muslims here, our guest, and, you know, we are here to speak about Islam, not about Muslims. So please take into consideration that the topic is Islam, not the Muslims. So I don't want to see somebody saying Muslims are etc. Our topic is very simple. It is the teaching of Islam. <clears throat> As you see today, I have a different uh, title. Different title. And the title is about those who call themselves Ustaz. And the reason is supposed to today, you know, I'm using such a title because uh, I told people who they are from Indonesia, I will... Uh, have a special program to be good in their timing and i believe now it is morning time for those who they are in indonesia i think maybe it is 10 30 in their time and i think this is a good timing to have them with us and to ask some questions <clears throat> you see with me in the screen we have a list supposedly this is a list of the top uh, uh, names who call themselves ustad and you know ustad is a wrong word actually to use because uh, if this is the word coming from Arabic, which means ustaz, I mean you don't say ustaz. That's that's a very a false uh, a way to say it. But, but here you notice that even the title which they are trying to copy from Arabic, they could not get it right. I mean the guy who is coming to teach about Islam, he could not. get the correct word which he will call himself with so how this person is called such a name if the word is wrong what is ustad anybody heard in arabic something is called ustad what is this so they try to copy arabic but even that they could not do correctly <clears throat> And here we want to ask them a few questions. What is uh, what is the qualification you have additional to have a nice salary, additional to have uh, nice donations from the Muslims, poor Muslims, to sit behind table and everybody pay respect for you, your majesty, and pay for your airplanes, and they invite you from country to country. What is your qualification additional to put in before your name the word Ustad? How you earn that? Uh, word what does that mean in Arabic the word ustaz not ustad mean master teacher etc but as you see it's not ustad now I'm waiting for long and until now I did not receive one call from those who call themselves ustad uh, to debate me you see forget about refuting me you know maybe uh, you know just to show to the Muslims that you have answers where all those who start top of the Ustad where are they what they are doing exactly for living now I mean didn't you hear about tens of thousands of Indonesians speaking about my videos and what on how many Indonesian live in Islam because of them Aren't you going to debate me to show the Indonesian that they are wrong? This guy, he have no uh, information. He is not uh, telling the truth. Don't you want to get me busted? What is going to take you, Mr. Ustad, to call me? And when you are going to do that? So the title today is the three questions the Ustaz cannot answer, Ustad. What is your qualification and who call you Ustad and how how you became Ustad? And to prove that all of you you have no qualification, I am challenging you all of you with no exception. I don't care what's your name. You know, I found a website. <clears throat> if you go here, there's like supposed to many websites actually speaking about uh, uh, the Ustad, you know, this is one of them. 
أستاذ مرة أستاذ يونغ تكرار را مرة أوكي I don't know I don't speak Indonesian as you know but here we have some pictures أستاذ يونغ ترك كنال أوكي مستر أستاذ يوز يا ترك كنال I invite you to call me please if you don't mind because I heard like you are a hero أستاذ عبد الصمود صماد if you don't mind your majesty can you please give us a call one day like once a year so you can give us like little answer or maybe you can hold the microphone the way you hold it right now in this picture look how beautiful look how nice and look how professional you are especially with that thing you have in your shoulder are you trying to copy the Arab but this is not an Arabic way to dress those are the Egyptian style my friend this is not Arab those are the villagers in Egypt Arab don't do that anyway so mr. Sam Sumad uh, <clears throat> when you are going to call us please I mean I know you're busy I know uh, you know I saw an article he is collecting a lot of uh, uh, for every invitation he gets six thousand dollars man that's a good business but this guy he will not call me because uh, you know unless somebody maybe pay him uh, what about Ustad Khalid Basalama Khalid Basalama Man, this guy, he looked very educated. And I think he is the person who can debate me. I think he have a qualification. If you notice with me, his beard is bigger than the rest. And this is what will make him qualified. Not a degree or knowledge, no, no. But the beard. Now look at this guy. Ustad Adi Haidat. <clears throat> put your hand down. Yeah, come on, put your hand down. It's okay. Now this guy, he is an Ustad too. And suppose he those are the top. Ustad Subhan Bawazari Bawazir. Okay, Subhan Bawazir. How are you, Mr. Subhan Bawazir? Subhan Bawazir. Uh, do you have your highness some time to call us maybe one day? I mean, it's going to be embarrassing when the Indonesian they translate this video, and none of you dare to say, Hey, in the day of etc., I'm going to call you. You can set a date, I don't care. And, and you can call me without setting a date. No problem. Take me into surprise. I open my Skype. Give me a call. Or if you want, give me your Skype. I will call you. You are invited, my friend. Uh, what about this guy? Ustad Shafiq Riza Basmallah. Ah, Ustad Shafiq. Uh -huh. This is the guy. I think this is the guy who can debate me. I was looking for one. I think this is the one who can make it. This guy, look, he have a beard. He have the qualification number one he have the beard and his beard is longer and he have a mustache and the microphone is not in his hand you know so he can flip the pages and he can give me all the answers so he's like he's smarter than them he will have his hands free so he can flip all the pages and get me the answer right away and get me busted i think this is the one however if this is not the one then we go to mr hanan ataki hanan ataki Look, this guy, he sounds like he spent a lot of time reading. I can tell from the glasses. Mr. Hanan Ataki, I would be happy to invite you to call me one day. It can be any day in the week. Listen, the day, uh, the week is seven days. And I know you can, I know you will say I can call you in, in day number eight, which does not exist. But because the seven days of the week, you are busy. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll skip this one. Uh, what, about, what about this guy? Look like this guy is a new. Ustaz Netflix? No, uh, uh, Felix, Felix Siwawa. Si, Siwawa. Uh, Mr. Felix Siwawa, how are you? Well, you are Ustaz too. I mean, you're, Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah. The list is so huge, but there's no answers. What make Muhammad a prophet? Who want to call me and say, tell me how Muhammad became a prophet? Who want to tell me why Allah is God, but yet he have no knowledge? Not only you don't have knowledge, even your God. Who want to call me and tell me how Allah became God? How the Quran is full of mistakes? Who is of you have the courage to call me? I'm guessing that this will never happen. It is mission impossible. Isn't it? I welcome anyone from any country, but especially from Indonesia. You know, I wanna, I want the Indonesian Muslims 
to like finally get one of their scholars or stud who grow, grow a long beard and he and the funny you know i i uh, i found some tv stations in youtube live tv stations and the ustad he's uh, try supposedly or he claimed he speak arabic so he said to those indonesian who don't speak arabic alhamdulillah bismillah rahman rahim so he knew how to recite a few words and that's it do you know that didat the very famous didat he don't speak arabic he cannot even read the quran do you know that So how those people they are going to be called the stars I will tell you it's a business if you fail in your life you cannot find a job you want to make some money go and become a stad then everybody will pay respect to you you will become important even government they 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 will take care of you because they fear that you are supported by the Islamist it's a business right yeah, maybe I should learn Indonesian. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Stad Khalid Bas Bas Basalama. I will I will put a condition. I teach you Arabic, and you teach me Indonesian. What do you think? So, those people who claim to be people of knowledge, they can answer nothing nada they don't even know how Allah is God but he say in the name of Allah is he if he is Allah I mean this is a very simple question have you ever heard of a God he say in the name of Allah but he is Allah hey guys in the name of Christian Prince I challenge all those stars but aren't you Christian Prince yes I have two personality sometime me I am not me Sometimes I like to call myself. Sometimes I speak to myself in the mirror. Sometimes I hear voices like Prophet Muhammad. Actually, the funny about this, this is the chapter of Al-Fatiha for those who do not know. Chapter of Al-Fatiha, Muhammad, he received it when he was going to the bathroom. Do you know that? Do you know that? Have you ever heard of a God? He sent one of the most important chapters in the Quran, which the Muslim they pray five times a day. He gave it to him when he is doing. <clears throat> can't the guy wait? Can't Allah? Can't Allah wait until Muhammad he finished the 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 drum drum? How Allah he says, "Praise be to Allah." Like the, who is talking Allah you see if this is a prayer where Allah is teaching the Muslims how to pray we will say okay he is saying to them pray like this the same as Jesus said to the Christians pray like this say our father out of heaven but as you see this is not uh, he's not teaching them how to pray in the Quran there is tons of uh, uh, chapters where, where Allah said to Muhammad say call call who Allah had as an example Say that Allah is one of many, not as Muslims they translate, they say to you, Allah is one, which is false, because the word Ahad does not mean Wahid. Ahad is unification, is one of many. So how Allah is talking, and then he say, all praise be to Allah. Praise and thanks to Allah, Allah is thanking Allah. And then Allah, because he have nothing to say, he repeat the same words again. Didn't you just say, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim? Why you are saying it again? The most beneficent, the merciful as a translation. Okay, well, you said that. Why you are saying it again? Are you in love with your names? Like you cannot. Uh, I Okay. Okay. And then Allahman Allahim. You just said that. This guy, he has nothing to say. Like all now, this is the, 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 the first verses in the chapter. What we learned, nothing. Allah praising Allah. Allah speaking in the name of Allah. And Allah repeating that he is the most beneficent, the most merciful for time. Nice to meet you. 
And then Allah, he said to Allah, you alone will worship. The only way to accept this verse or those verses, if Muhammad making a prayer, and this is Muhammad making Quran, not Allah, there is no way Allah is God. And then he says, you alone will worship. Allah worship who? You Muslim, you believe and you claim that Allah is one God. There is not many. But Allah, he says, you alone will worship. And by the way, he don't be, he don't even say you alone. I mean, this is the false translation. In Arabic, it says, "Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in." You know, to you we worship. So Allah saying to that to who? And then here we have the other problem. I challenge any Muslim to tell me what the word sirat mean, because you will get dizzy with this word. All those ustads who claim to be ustads, every one of them will give you different interpretation. Why? Because this is not an Arabic word. <laughs> Anyone can tell me what the word sarata mean? And you see, I did not even flip the first page in the Quran, and we got tons of disasters. And then, the way of not those whom you have bestowed your grace, not the way of those who you earned earned your anger, nor those who went astray. <laughs> what do you mean they went astray? Isn't it Allah in the Quran, he says, he is the one who make people go astray. The one who Allah misguide by deceiving. Nobody can guide him. So they did not go astray. It's Allah who sent them astray. Shall we flip the second page? The second page is hilarious. And by the way, we would not, we did not mention uh, uh, the biggest disaster here. Where the Muslim they keep saying to us, Allah, his name is Allah. But as you see in front of us on the screen, Allah, his name is not Allah. Bismillah. And then he says, Alhamdulillah. Bismillah. Let me let me divide it for you. I will use handwriting. Excuse me. Allah. I'm using the mouse, so. Forgive me, please. Al la Al in Arabic means the. In the old Aramaic and the Hebrew, Al mean God. God la. Here, the second word, Ar Rahman, verse number two. Alhamdulillahi, Rabbul Alami, sorry. Alhamdulillah, li la. Li in here mean two. This li mean two. Tula. Thank you, Tula. So why you lie to us 24 hours, seven days a week, and you say your God name is Allah? I will tell you why, because all of you are a bunch of ignorant. al la is God la. The word A-L is a word meaning God. You put it before the name, that will make it God. And this is how ignorant they are, to the point they don't even know until now what is the name of their God. Have you ever heard of a religion? They do not know the name of their God. Well, welcome to Islam. And if you're searching Google, you will find that La is the moon God. He is who? He is the moon god. La. Moon. God. If you don't believe me, right, do it. Go to Prophet Google, peace upon him, and type, what is the name of the moon god?
So in just opening one page, we found disasters. What a messed up cult. If we ask the Muslims, did Allah say to Muhammad, pray like this in this verse? They will say no. So why are Allah speaking like that? And how we will know now that Allah is not praying himself, Allah is asking you to pray. Where, where it says that? Anyone says that says like say, pray like this? No, in the name of Allah. And by the way, uh, I forgot the Ustad didn't speak Arabic and they are ignorant. Have you ever heard of a book and God? He did not know how to say word in Arabic correctly. Because in Arabic, there's nothing. It's called bism. What bism? Look at this. The first word in the Quran is a mistake. There's no bism. If you don't believe me, let me show the correct way. Even in the Quran, it's written. Which means the Quran have the word correctly written and in places. And the Quran have it wrongly written in different places. Here we go. We go. We open the yellow page of Muhammad. <clears throat> All right, and look at this. Do you see how the word is written? Anyone notice what the difference between the word we show you before and this word? Here you will see. This is bism. There's no bism. This is the way it is written here. Do you see it? Here there's something that's called alif, and the data is because there is alif, you separate them. So instead of writing it like this. Actually, you know what? I will copy it in front of you as it is. I'm going. To, I'm not going to type it. I will copy it in front of you just to show you the mistake. Here we go. I will copy, huh? And I will paste it in the top of the other text just to show you. Here we go. Now, we paste the text we just copy from there, so you can notice with me the mistake. Do you see the difference? Let me zoom in. Do you see the difference? The one in the top is the correct way. In Arabic, there's nothing. It's called bism. Never exist. So we did not even open the first page yet, did we? I mean, this is the first page in the Quran is a disaster. I'm getting dizzy. And I don't want to forget that you call it Al-Fatiha. Where do you get this name from? Are you fabricating names? In the whole chapter, the word Al-Fatiha does not exist. The Muslim they say, oh, this is the opening of the Quran. But this is not the verse Muhammad he received from the opening. The first chapter Muhammad, according to the majority of Muslim, is at chapter 96. That is Al-Fatiha, not this one. That is the opening of the Quran. Even the name is fabricated. What is this? So error show error scribe. No, you cannot be say error scribe because you when you say you see here you don't say bism no more. Here they say bism. So it's not an error scribe, it's an error in the pronunciation. Are you getting my point? Because they are not saying when they recite the Quran, they don't say bism and it's written wrong. No, they 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 recited bism. And I will tell you what happened. There's many scholars, they say, that this word, the Muslims, they changed and they took off a letter because it is hard to recite the verse five times a day and say, Bism. It doesn't fit with the song. Like, Bism. So, you see the difference? There's a huge difference between Bism and Bism. Bism is easy. So, what they did, they took the letter off just to make it easier in singing. 
nicer so the Muslims are corrupting the Quran this is their explanation and I challenge any of the Ustad Ustad <laughs> actually each time I see their pictures I, I, I really laugh <laughs> you know they look like a bunch of fool and they are convincing themselves that they are smart Ustad Do we have any uh, Muslim would like to call me? Especially is from Indonesia. If there's anyone, you are more than welcome, my friend, to call me, and that will be nice to you. I promise you. All right. <clears throat> and if you are shake, even going to be better. Do we have anyone? I'm logging right now in Skype, so in case you wanna call me, please feel free. I will be happy to have you. All right. Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? You see, so, sometimes I feel like I'm uh, like somebody begging for a sandwich. Like any Muslim, any Muslim. You know, it's not even fair. Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anybody? If you are on a stud, if you have a beard, if you have knowledge, we will be happy to hear you, my friend. I will be glad, really, to hear you. Anyone? And by the way, if you debate me and you made victory for Allah, uh, Allah will give you an extra reward, in case you do not know. You know what I mean? We have Mr. Hen, he keep posting something for us in Arabic. I don't know if he know what he is talking about. Do you like to call me about the verse you are posting for me in Arabic? Who is a, who is a Muhammad and here would like to call us? You know, if those people are stad, so what I am? Me. If those people are stud, I am what? I am a student. Hmm? Where are they? Where are they, the Ustad? Where are they, the beard? Where are they? Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah. Where are they? Trust me, my friend, Allah will give you victory. I mean, come on. Allah is with you. According to Islam, Allah is with you. And Satan is with me. So why are you afraid? According to Islam. According to me, is the opposite. So what do you think? And actually the Quran, let me show you the Quran, says it clearly that Allah, if Allah, he support you, there's no one can take you down. Here we go. وَإِنْ يَنْصُرُكُمُ اللَّهِ فَلَا غَرِبَ لَكُمْ If Allah help you, none can overcome you. Do you see it? Chapter 3, verse 1 or 60. But the question here, you see, Allah, he knew that he cannot help. So he said, if. If, in Arabic, 
is a conditional so now what do you think Allah will help you or he will not help you let us do this you put a bear in front of you no it was teddy bear you know and take start taking hair from his head each ear you take you say this support me don't support me support me will not support me support me will not support me until the last hair is staying in your hand from the head of the bear and then you will find out if Allah will call you or not or I have a shorter way to see if Allah will support you or not just call me and instead of staying for 10 years to take the hair from the head of the bear just to find out if Allah will support you or not just give me a call my Skype is open what what Allah mean if Allah help you uh, so what does that mean is Allah going to help the Muslim or he's not going to help the Muslims Razik Shihab, what do you mean, Sheikh Razik Shihab? What is that? He wanna call me? Is he here, Razik Shihab? <coughs> Anyone? You know what? I can go and uh, I agree with Allah with many things. As an example, if I was rich. I will buy a house close to the beach if I was rich I will have a nice car not a donkey if I mean what this is if is about if I was handsome I will be a, I will have a beautiful beautiful wife but if it's not working <laughs> so what we will do now are we going to wait for mr. if and if those scholars are scholars they will call me and if those scholars are knowledgeable they will give me a call and they will challenge me and if uh, there is a song in Arabic it says if you if you plant the seed of if the fruit will be I wish what is this is if uh, thing Hmm? Anyone? By the way, uh, you guys are not subscribing to the other account. We have other account. If you look at the previous videos, like go back two videos before, you will see a link underneath. You need to subscribe there because I'm doing most of my broadcast there for those who do not know. All right? Maybe the admin can post the link for the other account. Most of you do not know. That's why I'm not doing podcast here. I'm doing in the other account. Just take a note. <clears throat> so are we going to find somebody? Yesterday we received a call. Remember yesterday what happened yesterday? Uh, a sheikh. I don't know. He's from Indonesia, Malaysia, whatever. Bangladesh. But he talked like Zach and I. And he wanted to convince me that the Quran is a is a good book. Go watch what happened yesterday. It was a disaster, but it was in the other channel, right? It was in the Christian press, not this one. <coughs> do you like the your toast? Who is do your toast? Who is that? Is from Malaysia, okay. <clears throat> I won that debate yesterday. Are you sure? As if I lost, I, if I lost a debate before. <laughs> Are you, is that like a history? I, I mean, have you have you ever seen me losing one? What you know, won the debate yesterday. So, do we have any Muslim? Any Muhammadan would like to call us? Which website I use? There is many websites. All of them they are bad. This one is called Quran Wow. I mean Quran Wow. <laughs> yes, Wow, brother. 
Look at this. If Allah help you. If Allah help you. And look what happened. Muhammad, he sent his fighters and he told them the following. A brother and sister. 100 of you brothers, they are going to vanquish 1,000. What? Are you sure Muhammad is a brother? If we go to the chapter of Al-Anfal, <clears throat> Muhammad, he promised them victory, saying to them falsely that few of you, brother, few of you can fight thousands. Then the Muslim, they went to the war <clears throat> and they lost. <sighs> if and the funny he told them <coughs> that you will be victorious the verse in the front of you oh prophet of Allah urge them prophet urge them to go and fight and tell them brother that 20 of you can fight uh, 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 200 which means 10 to 100 the Muslim, they went to the fight, they get spanked. They come back to Muhammad, what he told us, man? What is the, the one or the ten of us, we will fight, it, uh, you know? And Muhammad, he gave them the answer right away. He told him, now Allah has light in your task, brother. For he knows that there is a weakness in you. Oh, before he do not know the weakness? Muhammad is correcting the weather news. In the morning, he said, you guys will make a hurricane. Afternoon, he said to them, it was a fart, not a hurricane. We thought it's a hurricane, but we noticed you have a weakness, brother. What kind of God this God is? We have a fish. Ah, this is a kid. Don't you see why you are sending me his picture? This guy is, is even in the picture is naked. Don't you see the picture he have in Skype? Do we have any brave Abdul when I call us? So from 10 people can fight 100 and then what Muhammad he said look at this. A brother, we found out Allah, He found the weakness on you. Said they are hundred steadfast persons, they will overcome 200 from 10 to 100. From 10, look, look, look at the change in the previous verse 20, they will fight 200, which means 10 to 100. In the second verse, a brother, the number of change. Hundred of you can fight two hundred. That's mean one to two. Before it was one to ten. Have you ever heard of a God like this? <clears throat> Anyone? Do we have any Muslim? Well, I'm not going to stay long, really, because I wanted to make this video short so the the the, uh, the Indonesians, our friend, we love them. I love Indonesian people, really. They are wonderful people. I love them. They are Muslims. They are Christians. They are Buddhas. It doesn't matter, really. I believe Indonesian people are wonderful people. But I feel sorry. I feel sad for those who be misled by this cult. My friend, if you are a person who believe in Allah, Allah is nothing. Does not even exist. Muhammad is a fabricator. He created this religion, this cult, just for his pocket and his private part, not even for God, have nothing to do with God. Have you ever heard of a God saying to you, if you believe in me, I will give you women and their legs is up? What if I like their legs to be down? I go to my bedroom, I don't see my women standing. Everybody is laying in her back and her legs is up. I say, Assalamu Alaikum, they didn't answer, they wave their legs. Like, what a weird uh, view. I thought I'm going to go to the bedroom and I will find women waiting for me and they say, hey, CP. No, they wave their legs. 
Why their legs is up, brother? Are they using it as an antenna, brother? This is God. Are you sure this is God? Where is God in this? Have you ever heard of a God? He promised people that you will have a woman. Her bum is one mile. Why one mile? What about half mile? And what if this woman, she decide to sit in the top of me? If her butt is one mile, one mile. Mean we are a black big screen, but I never thought it's going to be that big. Oh boy. Anyone? We will not keep you long. So you can download this video. You can add subtitle in your, lang in, in your language. And not only Indonesian, I mean, whatever language you have, but uh, uh, as you see, I put the names of those Ustad. <laughs> Ustad. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ustad. <laughs> I mean, if you are an Ustad, I mean, this is a horrible thing. You guys, you destroyed the name. What? This is an Ustad? And this guy is an Ustad too. And this guy is an Ustad too. But yet they cannot say the name of their God correctly. And this guy, his hand is up. He object. Before even he hear me, he put his hand up, says, a Christian prince is not telling the truth. I swear by Allah. So until we hear from the Ustad, I hope that uh, one of them will be brave enough and he will challenge a Christian prince. And don't uh, do it like the same as the guy. Anyone have the uh, link? Uh, what's his name? The guy who challenged me? He challenged me to come to Jakarta. I mean, are you serious? I mean, look how coward he is. Who is going to believe you really that you mean it? You want the Christian prince to go to Jakarta? I will be arrested before even I land in the airport. What those people are talking about? Obviously, he, he's scared to do it. If you are really a man, you do not need to go to Jakarta. You do not need to come to USA. Or what you need is to call me in Skype, and it's free. Totally free. You sit in your office. You have your coffee in front of you. You call a Christian prince. You say, Christian prince, I'm going now to get you busted. The Christian prince, he says, oh, hold on. Let me get my glue. Because always, this is what I do. I, have, I am number one customer for a glue in Amazon. Every time I speak to Muhammadan, I have to glue myself again, especially my nose. They break it. So when are you going to call me? Please, please, Indonesian Muslims, I want you to call your Ustad. Let us call them one by one again. Ustad Abdul Samad, Ustad Abdul Samad, he graduated with elementary school and he speaks seven languages except Arabic, which is the language of his God. And the seven languages he speaks is the language of the mama and the language of the baba and the language of the neighbor and the language of the baby and the language of which nobody heard of except the language of his God. But yet he said to us in Arabic reciting Quran, Alhamdulillah, Bil Alameen. Sheikh. Khalid Basmallah, half of his name, actually all his name is in Arabic, but he do not know, I guarantee you, he do not know even what, what his name means. For sure now he will study it before he call me. Mr. Khalid, I would like you to call me, please. I will be really honored to receive a phone call from you. Especially I notice that you have two microphones when the rest they have only one, which means you are really strong. To the point, you know, your opinion cannot be handled by one microphone. You need two. Look, the one before you have one. I know. I just noticed that. You see, uh, Ejbril he inspired me. You have two microphone. The one after you have one microphone. The one after you have microphone. The one after you have one microphone. The one after you have one microphone. And this guy have no microphone. So you must be the best between them. Obviously. So I'm thinking that you are the one. That is Khalid Abdul Samad. So when they are going to call us, I will be waiting.
You love the mic? Oh, okay. I have a microphone here, but I keep it I keep it far away from me because you know my voice is strong. So if I get it closer, you know my I'm far from, really I'm far from the microphone. If I get uh, close to the microphone, your computer will explode. True story. You know? Actually, this is how I make uh, uh, my juice. I put the juice in the cup. I put it next to the microphone, and I scream, and the juice became juicy. True story, Sahil Bukhari. Hadith number, brother. 777-7077. What is that? I mean, why if I say something not, not, not true, nobody believe it, but Muhammad, he say anything, and people right away believe it. The prophet said, the second you say the prophet said, everybody agree. It doesn't matter what he say, even if he say this. I'm typing in English. I mean, you believe it. This uh, keyboard is not an Arabic keyboard. It's switched by itself. So I do not know what I'm typing. Actually, I'm guessing the letters. <clears throat> wisdom. Look at the wisdom. Look at this, how deep it is. The prophet said, when Satan, when Satan, he hears the call of the prayer, La Akbar, Satan, right away, he turned his back and he break winds. You know, like, this is deep. This is knowledge. This is beyond, beyond galaxies, knowledge. I mean, uh, the NASA, NASA, by the way, is founded by Muhammad. And here you notice the Prophet Muhammad, he was able to discover the gas movement which is causing the global warming around the earth, brother. Because if you think about it, this is the reason for the global warming. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, you are live on air. Go ahead. Friends, right? This is me. Oh, okay. Go to sleep, motherfucker. Why do you keep insulting Islam? Why you are saying the F word? <laughs> Islam is none of your business. Why you are saying You're the F word? You are a lady. Keep are a lady. it out of your mouth. Aren't you ashamed of yourself to say the F word? No, I don't care. I don't care. I don't why, care. You why think. you don't care? Is Islam teach you as a woman to say the F word? No, it's none of your business. I can talk however But you just I said want. the F word. So you are trying to prove to yes, me Islam yes, is a good religion. But obviously Islam did not make you a good person. Yes, you are, you are using a filthy language. You are insulting Islam and you're going to hit Jahannam forever. I don't care. Do you know what Bye. Jahannam means? Go to sleep, you old man. Keep Islam out of your mouth. What what Jahannam mean? <laughs> Her name is Fatima Ali. And she said the F word, she will be a perfect wife for the perfect husband. Do you see that she just said to me, you will go to Jahannam? Do you know that Muhammad, he stole the word Jahannam from the Bible? And Jahannam is the valley of where they burn the garbage. The thief Muhammad. Do they even know what Jahannam is? They don't know. They are thieves. They stole it from the Bible. They are like their prophet. And uh, Fatima, what if I convert to Islam tomorrow and I get four of you? Oh, boy. <laughs> I will designate you just to wash dishes for the rest of your life. Because I'm the husband. The Quran says, sister, الرِّجَالُ قَوَّامُونَ عَلَى النِّسَاءِ الرِّجَالُ قَوَّامُونَ So I can assign to you any job I want as a wife. I have four wives, four employees. And I can assign to you the job you deserve. And based on your tongue, I think your tongue is good for sharpening knives. Like <laughs> you have a long tongue. Unbelievable. My Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, your father must be so proud about you. You say the effort perfectly. A perfect daughter for a perfect father. I can tell your family they spend a lot of time teaching you about Allah and Prophet Muhammad. What Jesus said, from their fruits you shall know them. Correct? <laughs> All right. Anyway, I forgive you. You are just a poor girl. I'm not insulting Islam. I'm just showing you how stupid this religion is. Why are you upset for me? What about you answer me instead of calling me names and saying why you and why you are insulting my mother? 
Let me tell you something about those who insult the mother of somebody. That's mean they don't respect their mother. Because you insult my mother, you're expecting me to do what? I say the same to your mother. So if you're really a person who respects her mother, you will never insult the mother of anyone because you are bringing insult to your mother. Stupid. Right? Why you why you involve the mother in this? You call me, answer me, ask me questions, no problem. Or you can cry. You know, and look at this. The Quran says that the one who you you fear that she is not obedience beat them. I don't know if you like beating, but I think uh, maybe you like it. In the in the way I see, I, I see what will happen to you when you get married, sister. The husband he will practice the knowledge of Allah on you. And look here, guys. They say to you <laughs> in the Muslim translation about chapter four. First, uh, admonish them. Next, where is first? Where is next in the Quran? Refuse to share the bed with them. It doesn't say that. It says jail them. Hijruhum from Madaja. And then, brother, at last, what at last? Where it says at last? Beat them and between two brackets lightly. Like, what is the word lightly? All of those between two, the brackets, they add them to the Quran. Sister, do you like him to add you lightly? Ah, you are one of those. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. I feel sorry for her. <coughs> All right. So, guys, uh, how many Indonesian we have here? How many Indonesian? Give me one if you are Indonesian. I, 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 am, I am the first Indonesian. Here we go. I will give myself one. I, I changed my ID now. Today, today I am not an Arab. I am an Indonesian. How many Indonesian we have here? I am the only Indonesian here. Look at those people. I am the only Indonesian here. Ah, okay, there's more. Hey, welcome, family. Good to see you. I thought I'm the only Indonesian here. Man, now I feel better. Yeah, I don't like to go in the in the jungle of Indonesia alone. You know, I like to go with a bunch of Indonesian, and then we uh, uh, we can. Uh, <coughs> Break coconut with our teeth. Because the Quran says, brother, if Allah is with you, eh, just to break it with your teeth, Allah will be with you. <laughs> Who need a knife? Nobody. Look how many Indonesian. My mic is not. Stop, mic. Eh, finally. Uh, so, guys, I want you to download this video, add subtitle, and challenge those who call themselves a scholar or a stad. Because all of them they are fake. And if you are a Muslim, do me a favor, please, and do yourself a favor. Say to them, you know what? Whoever this guy is, why you don't call him and get him busted? Live on air. This guy, as you see, anyone can call me. This girl, she called me. I don't even know her. I never added her. She just gave me a call. So don't make an excuse. This girl, this girl, she called me from the middle of nowhere. Actually, not from the middle of nowhere, to be honest with you. I think she is sitting uh, in, in her house, maybe. Uh, so uh, I, I take the I take back the from the middle of nowhere because she is in the middle of somewhere, you know, because the brother according to the Quran, brother, Allah only speak from the middle of nowhere. Actually, no, not true. Allah He speak from the middle of the tree, and I can show you the verse. And actually, the tree spoke, not Allah. Uh, I mean, Allah was the tree. So we will be waiting for those who we challenge them. And for, for the sake of Allah, tell the guy to put his hand down. I'm getting scared. And look, he put his name in the back of the, what it says? K-A-U-I? What, what is that in the back of his computer? What does that mean? Is this guy putting a sticker so nobody will steal his computer? I mean, come on, don't do that. Who will steal a computer of a shake? A shake without beard? Grow beard, man. Get fertilizer. Do something. What? Is... Anyway, <clears throat> lie. I did not pick up. Pick up. Uh, Iksan, you, you are banned. You know, you are you are the guy with naked pictures. Yeah, I banned you. Hmm. Here we go. You see, this is you. This is you. Let me show everybody. 
Hey, this is your <laughs> this is you. You want me to uh, take a call from you? You call me before you are just a kid. You are just literally a kid. Anyway, anyone, you can change your name and call me, no problem. All right. Uh Q R A I. I'm not sure what does that mean. <clears throat> So uh, guys, please download the video. Uh, you, you can cut the, the end part of it, you know, like this lady calling or whatever, you know. Just make it short about I am challenging them and add subtitle and tell them, okay, uh, this guy, his name is a Christian Prince. He is an Arab, but he don't speak Arabic, so don't worry about his Arabic. His Arabic is funny. Actually, there's a there's a video made by, by uh, somebody from Indonesia giving false translation says, uh, uh, Christian Prince, he don't know Arabic. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what is my first language. So don't worry about his Arabic because his Arabic is funny and he doesn't speak Arabic at all, actually. He speaks, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, the wind, the weather. Like now it's cold, snowy. So I call, I speak uh, uh, Alaskan language these days. I'm shaking my legs now. It's very cold. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, please download the video. I'm not going to keep it here for long. I will give you maybe just an hour or two to download it and then I will take it down please please for the sake of Allah if he exists for the sake of Muhammad if he was a prophet for the sake of your God if he claimed to be God call me so you can win and show everybody that you are a person who trusts your God and victory is guaranteed and if you don't call that's mean you know and you are sure that Allah is false and you cannot do it otherwise I don't see a reason for you not to call me by the way you do not need to call me I can call you if you are a big big shot I am the I am I am a humble guy I don't care I will call you I will call you and I will call you sir my name uh, I'm a, I'm a uh, humble servant of Christ I am no one I am not Ustad I am not doctor I am not professor and I am not a prophet, but yet you cannot debate me. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And please forgive this girl. And I, me, myself, I forgive her. Forgive her. I consider her just uh, the same as a sister of mine, even though I don't have a sister. She will speak such a language. What a shame. But still I forgive her and I pray that she will see the truth and the truth will set her free. She's angry. This is a good sign. That's mean we are touching the nerve and the nerve is hurting. That's what, exactly what's happening. This is why you see a lot of videos speaking against me, trying to, but they cannot do it. I mean, here we go, call me. You can make tons of videos against me and you can claim that you want to debate without calling me. How you can do that? Call me, <laughs> call me baby. This is what the song says. Like, call me baby. And by the way, call me baby is exist in the Quran. And the guy who made the song, he took it from the. I can show it to you. Call me baby. <clears throat> you want to show it to you? <laughs> I mean, what I'm going to go? I mean, I suppose they will. I will hang up 15 minutes ago. I hate you guys. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> what I have to do now would call me baby. I mean, what's wrong with you? <coughs> All right. Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> All those about call me baby. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh boy! <laughs> you know here. <clears throat> uh, let me show you this one. When the Arab they start asking Muhammad, where are you getting those names from? You, why you keep stealing names? Al Rahman is the Rahman of Al Yamama. It's a guy who claimed to be a prophet before even Muhammad. Why you are stealing the name of a Rahman and adding it to your name? 
So he said the most beautiful names belong to Allah. So call him by any of them. He'll call me baby. <laughs> Oh boy, in different verse actually, he make it more clear. <coughs> uh, let us see this one. Here, the Arab they said to him literally, "Why you stole the name of Rahman ul Yamama?" Why you are calling him uh, uh, always you pray to Allah who is this guy Rahman and this is telling you that Muhammad is a false prophet he never called Allah a Rahman before ever never never he said Bismillah Rahman Rahim suddenly he inserted the word Rahman so now Allah told him to say to them hey Muhammad Habibi say to them call upon Allah or call upon Rahman all of it is shish kebab <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. This is a prophet of God. This is a prophet of God. Still in the name of Ar Rahman from Ahmad al Yamama, the guy who the Muslim they call him Musaylama to insult him. How come Muhammad he never said the word Rahman before? Never. So he spent half of his life. He don't know that Allah, one of his name is Ar Rahman. Allah forgot to mention it. Oh boy. <clears throat> Rahman is coming from the Aramaic language. This is not even Arabic. Rahman is, uh, you see, the Aramaic, they say, when they say, when they speak about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they say, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, Rahimo. So the Messiah, he came to us as a mercy. And God himself, the merciful, he came, he took the flesh, he became a mercy. So Muhammad the thief, he stole it originally from this guy. And then because he never heard it before. And this guy himself, he took it from the Aramaic people, the Christians. This is why you see, in the beginning of the Quran, it says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Everything is this cult is a fabrication, it is a theft. And this is why those who call themselves Ustad, they will not dare to call me because they knew that they have no knowledge. They knew that they have nothing. If they're a prophet, have no knowledge. So what about them? If they're a God, have no knowledge. So what about them? The one who is their teacher, their best teacher, Muhammad himself, have no knowledge, zero knowledge. So how a follower he can be, and how how a follower of a fool can be wise? You tell me. Right. Okay, I think it's time to go. Otherwise, we will stay until here until tomorrow. I know you guys, you hate me, and I hate you too. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's. A, I better go. So you can because you see that the longer I stay, the longer it's going to be harder for those uh, who want to give the. You believe it or not? I said to myself, I will go live on air just for fifteen minutes to make a video challenge for those people. So now. Those who they translate the video do this cut the video until I finish my challenge, all right, and uh, um, leave the rest. Or you can load, I mean, video by itself, whatever we say now, but the video about the challenge make it specifically like short so you can add subtitle easy, all right. <clears throat> so, uh, it's time to go more five minutes. What more five minutes? Do you know that Jibreel is waiting for me outside in the snow? Do you know what how cold it is outside? Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mean. 
you know once i i forgot uh, uh, i forgot the, the grocery uh, a chicken i forgot the chicken in the trunk of my car believe it three days after i decided to cook the chicken i opened the fridge there's no chicken i said uh oh i forgot it in the trunk i went to the trunk the chicken is still like a rock <laughs> Because we have a natural freezer for that. Alhamdulillah. By the way, as long as we are talking about natural freezing, do you remember how Allah He made ice, brother? <laughs> According to Allah, He take ice from mountains in heaven and He throw it at us. So the ice I have in the front of my house, brother, is broken by Allah and sent to me specifically. Because it says he hit with it the one he don't like. You don't believe me? Here we go. And look, he sent down from mountain, from the sky, mountain mass of a cloud, where in his hail. It doesn't say that. Look how they try to cover the disaster. Change the translation. Hold on. I would change the translation. I like this game, change the translation. I mean, you cannot find one honest translation ever. What's wrong with you? Like just not even one? Okay, we change the translator. Let us see what he will say. He sent, okay, and he sent down hail from the sky out of mountain that all in it. Unbelievable. This guy is honest. I cannot believe it. This guy, he just got me busted because I always say I never saw a Muslim. He is honest when he translated the Quran. Look like this guy. He got it right. I lost the debate once in my life. I told you I want to go. Why you kept me here? I lost now. Look at this. He sent down hail from the sky out of mountain that are in it. What, what is the name of this translator? Hold on. What is name? Kar Karai? Mr. Karai, I will pay respect to you in Japanese. I bend my head for you. What's wrong with you, Karai? Why you are saying the truth? Aren't you Muslim brother? You must be high, Mr. Karai. Why you are translating correctly? Like what? Here we go. Let me pause the link for you. So according to Allah, the ice which outside in the, in the front of my house is sent by Allah from mountains in heaven. And by the way, this is proven to be scientifically correctly. Yes, brother, in, in the heaven, there is mountains of ice and they are flying like Avatar movie. And Allah, he got a big slash hammer. Bzz, bzz, bzz. And then he says, okay, Christian Prince, I will throw two more at you. 20 inch of ice and now I cannot get out very cold oh boy <clears throat> I believe it do you believe it yeah they will say to you from from our perspective <laughs> Oh boy uh, <clears throat> you know what this perspective thing is very nice if your mother-in-law she asks you my son-in-law do you love me you say to her from my perspective I love you <laughs> this is a good game huh so okay and uh, if you're working at work and you are a, a thief and you stole some money and they ask you, did you steal any money? You say, my, from my perspective, I did not. <laughs> if you are a cheater and your wife, she says to you, did you cheat on me? Oh, my, from perspective, I did not do it. <laughs> I, I like this perspective thing, brother. I like the perspective things. I, 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 I really love it. <laughs> hey, brother, are you handsome? From my perspective, I am <laughs> sexy and you know it. <laughs> Perspective, huh? Oh, what a scam. <coughs> Guys, thank God you don't see me every day. Otherwise, all of you, you will get fat from hearing my, my, uh, 
my words you will laugh and you keep because you know that you will if you if you laugh a lot you will gain weight you know that it's not good you know just listen Quran listen to Quran will make you stressful and you will lose weight <laughs> comedy is good I know I know yeah <clears throat> but I wish that comedy. this is a sad comedy my friend this is not even a good comedy it's a sad comedy uh, sometime what is really what is really sad it turned to be a very very uh, uh, loud laughing and this is exactly what we see I mean how in the world somebody believe that this is God is talking how you can believe in that I mean I, I look how clear it is right from your perspective I am handsome even my mom she did not agree with me with you you know that what's wrong with you how you can see me from your perspective, handsome? First of all, you did not see me. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> if Allah is the one who created me, how in the world Allah can make something good? <laughs> yeah, I pray. I pray for all Indonesian. I pray for all Muslims to see the truth and the truth will set them free. I pray that the Christians they will learn about their Bible too because my friend is we have many too many Christians they they don't have knowledge they don't have faith you see all of us we sin we are sinners we do sin uh, and nobody claimed to be an angel and we are not claiming to be better than anyone but uh, when it's come to faith if you do not know you belong to who and what you believe I mean what what is the purpose of your life you are like a chicken who eat lay eggs we have to have a purpose in our life and the purpose of our, of our life will give us a joy you know give you a joy you see when a mother she take care of her children or she take care of her mother a woman she take care of her father uh, somebody responsible for a family that it's a responsibility but that responsibility is a joy a person who chose not to have any responsibility he is refusing refusing to live Most of people who commit suicide is people who they are refusing responsibility. People who they are lost in hope. They lost hope. They don't want to be anything. They are done. So living start from inside you, within you. You decide to live or you decide to die. A person who don't have a mission to accomplish in his life he is not living he is just surviving you know breathing sleeping waking up but he is not alive try my friend to be a living person let your brain work enjoy God he gave you a gift which is priceless which is your brain enjoy that gift this is the best joy me myself I enjoy it's using my brain it make me feel I am exist it make me feel that I am different it make me feel that I accomplish a lot and it make me feel that I'm going forward or maybe backward because my brain will tell me where I am yesterday I was this and today I am this if we live and we don't have a skill in our life that's we are living like animals and those who live like animals they will die just like animals and nobody will remember them they will be just numbers try to be a unique person which the Lord will remember you the Lord he said from their fruits you shall know them not from their names our names is not really important it's our fruits and then if you have the fruits then you will be called a child of God not a Christian prince not this and that then the Lord himself he will call you a child of God and he will welcome you in his kingdom so this is why we want the Muslims to use their brain and not to live copy paste blind faith when you follow a blind man and here the blindness is not about not having a sight you know what I'm talking about 
you can be a blind man who have no eyes but you can see more than all of us maybe but when you follow a blind man what you expect to show you light Muhammad he cannot bring light to your life I, sh I could not find any Muslim community they are enjoying their life if they practice Islam Muslim they can enjoy their life if they are just Muslim by names and I challenge any Muslim to show me where they practice Islam and they have a joy of life they don't no Muslim one Sharia law in Jordan no Muslim one Sharia law in Egypt no Muslim one Sharia if, even in those in Indonesia and the other day I showed you the guy who committed adultery fornication he is married and the women she is married what they did they did beat them 20 uh, for him 28 time for her 23 time but according to Sharia Allah both of them should be stoned so why did they not practice Sharia Allah because they don't want it they are fake nobody when ISIS enter areas in Syria and Iraq they force people for Sharia law the day ISIS left everybody shave his beard and the women they took off the burqa and they start dancing in the street you don't believe me go and watch YouTube Sharia law is good as it is like a, like a shiny title but if you practice it you will see how evil it is And this is why Muslims are the last one who want Sharia law. And I will never see an Islamic society practicing Sharia law. Even in Saudi Arabia, name for me one Christian he paid jizya in Saudi Arabia, none. But isn't it that jizya is an order from the Sharia of Muhammad? It's in the Quran, chapter 929. They cannot. So, my friend. <clears throat> For me, Islam is dead. But my worry is not about Islam, the dead Islam. My worry about Muslims who they are Muslim by names. Because even by being Muslim by name, you are not saved. And we want to save you to know the true Lord. We want to save you so you can go to heaven. To belong to the Holy God, not the God who give women and boys for sex. That is not God. That is a guy who live in Las Vegas, maybe. He work in a casino he give business card he have girls that is not God so I want to say thank you for being here today and I hope the timing was good for those in Indonesia don't forget please to download the video and those who want to add subtitle feel free to cut the video with the part I challenge those people to debate me and maybe we hope <clears throat> Maybe, maybe in the coming 10 years, one of them will call me. You never know. <coughs> Miracle will happen. <laughs> Miracles can happen. <coughs> I'm losing my voice, you see. So thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. And nobody can prove us wrong. Nobody. And we are waiting for that one who can do it. Thank you and see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.